Welcome back guys. Today we are doing another review of the Imperial Assault Carrier from Star Wars Rebels. It's one of the bigger sets, uh, if not the biggest, next to the Ghost. Which I think this might have more pieces than the Ghost. 1,216. I think the Ghost is only 900 and something. And there are the characters. The minifigs that come with this set. Nice set. Just wanted to pull back here and give you a few, uh, I'm sorry, a full view of the box. That is the Slave One right next to it. A view of the back of the box here. Which I really can't wait to show off the little TIE fighters they have. Alright, kicking off the minifigs are two identical TIE pilots here. Both have the same facial expression. And some print wrapping around the back. Next up we have the Imperial Officer and Agent Hollis. Holding his makeshift weapon. Which is just two blasters and a lightsaber hilt. You can see Hullis there with the double sided face, but no double sided face for the Imperial Officer. Next up is the Imperial Astromech Droid, which is pretty cool because you have the see through top here. The black, uh, the body printing does not wrap around, but the see through red lines do. I really like this astromech. Next up is Sabine, who is actually part of the Rebels team. She comes with this set. Her colors are a bit different than they are in the show. Her, the show is more of a bright, brighter pink, brighter reds, but I still like this the printing on this on the helmet as well. You see up close on the chest you have your rebel symbol which is just like the show with the printing going all the way down her legs and the printing wrapping around her back there along with a double sided face and here you have the imperial assault cruiser itself it's a pretty big set With a lot of big sets, it does come with the handlebar to pick it up. Kind of rotate it around, slide it around the room. Let me give you a tour of the outside before we get inside. Set that down. Get the satellite right there. Behind these latches right here, there's one on each side, and you have extra missiles right there that can be stored. Easily slides right in. There's that one right there. And you can see one of the missiles right there. Same thing for the other side. Just, just like that. We're gonna wait in the back. We have the stud shooters top and bottom try to lift this up give it a better view underneath now what's cool about this is you have the mini tie fighters at the bottom there this up and each TIE fighter has a latch right here you just pull and drop off pretty cool little build to fly around so four little extra almost little mini micro fighters there now I see the where the pin goes in just 
apply the back on, ready to go. We got the pilot seat. I don't have anybody in there right now. That will give you, I'll, I'll put somebody in there. Just a bit, let's see if we can get, get it focused there. It's kind of dark in there. But it does have a little computer screen right there. A place for him to sit. The top is very easy. It's very easy to access. All you do is just pull up. And that comes off. You can fold it, lay it down or whatever. And then there is the inside. Now you can see on each side has a seat, but these seats are also latches. And inside, see if I can fit my finger in there. Each side has its own crate. And inside these crates are extra studs. It's a nice little storage space in there. You just throw it back in there. Shut the latch. Now what's cool about this area, it doesn't look big, but you can fit all the figs that come with your set. And I will show you that right now. All right, we have the two pilots in their seat. The astromech in the back. Callus stand and watch. And you can see there are two spots here to hold their guns when they're not in use really makes use of all the space you have available. If you move back to the front, you can fit him in the cockpit right there. Just slides. I don't even, does it hook on anything? So it's very easy. Doesn't get stuck. So it's a really, really nice build, really solid build. Um, I definitely prefer this over the ghost build. It's more sturdy. Now obviously, Sabine isn't part of their team, so she is not going to fit in this ship. Unless you make her, I guess. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up here for the LEGO Star Wars Rebels Assault Carrier. Hopefully, this video has uh, informed you a bit more about this set here. Hopefully, you'll add it to your collection because I highly recommend it. Very nice set. Very nice figs. Especially if you're looking to complete your Rebels characters. Finally get your Sabine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you like this video. If you didn't like this video, all feedback is appreciated. And don't forget on the 17th of this month, February, we will have the classic Lego Batman set. Which is just coming up in a few days. So I hope you come back, tune back in for that. We'll see you next time.